All new tonight, Tampa police out in full force tonight, protecting young trick or treaters in Seminole Heights. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon live tonight and Julie people not letting a killer keep them at home. Parents told me they felt comfortable and so relieved. There were so many officers out here tonight. Earlier tonight, this area was flooded with trick or treaters. The mayor saying they will not let evil win. Tonight, it's about candy and costumes. For this 10 year old, Halloween is a chance to be anything you want to be. A cat, a superhero, you could be anything. Tampa police saturating Seminole Heights on Halloween since a killer hasn't been caught. The last murder happened more than a week ago. Parents relieved tonight to have so many officers close by. It's kind of spooky a little bit, but just makes you want to be more careful, appreciate life more. Some neighbors told me since the three deadly shootings, they haven't gone out past dark. It's scary. It's really scary. Um, around 738, we just lock the door. We stay inside. Tampa's mayor passing out candy. Interim police chief Brian Dugan also out on Halloween. His officers on horseback while others walked with kids to collect candy. Tampa's mayor assuring neighbors evil won't win. This is innocence. What we're dealing with is evil. Innocence is going to win this because we're going to hunt evil down. And the mayor told me tonight he is confident Tampa police will catch this killer. Tampa police are still out here at this hour. Reporting live in Seminole Heights, Julie Salomon, ABC Action News.